Hi, I had a college professor many, many moons ago who used to say that if you learn one thing from a book or a conversation or a movie, then it was well worth your time. I've always remembered that and that stuck with me for decades and decades. I know a lot of people who won't read a fiction book. They think they have nothing to learn and they stick with nonfiction. I disagree with that. I think that stories about people, whether they're true or not, can teach us all kinds of things. Hi, my name is Pam Lamp. I write a blog called Who I Met Today, where I interview people and learn their stories and then write about it. Um, I also love to read and talk about books. So I hope that you will read this article. It will have a lot more information in it than just the video. And I also hope you'll check out my blog at the bottom of the article, the information is there and consider following me. I would absolutely love that. The books that I'm going to talk about today, I'm very excited about it. They're all fiction. I learned something from every one of them. And you know, a lot of times I'll read a book and I'll think, oh, I enjoyed it, but I'm not sure I can recommend it through the 60 and Me community. But all five of these books, I was really excited about. So I, I was kind of on a roll last month. The first book, and the picture is um, at the front of this article of the book cover, is called The Rose Code by um, Kate Quinn. Some of you may recognize this author from The Huntress or The Alice Network. Um, I have not read The Huntress, but I really like The Alice Network. Like The Alice Network, this is historical fiction, and it combined everything I love in a book history, romance, mystery, and then throw in the royal family. It was one of the best books I've read in a while. And it's a commitment, it's almost 600 pages, but oh my gosh, it didn't drag and I just couldn't wait to get in bed at night and read it. Um, Bletchley Park, England was where men and women were recruited during World War II to break German military codes. And I just can't imagine these people that went to work every day and were true war heroes, but couldn't talk about it with anyone. They couldn't even tell their spouse what they did for a living. Um, it, it affected their minds after a while, but it was so interesting, fascinating to read about. One of the women that's um, a main character in the story, true, this is true, she dated Prince Philip and was his girlfriend before he married Queen Elizabeth. So that was a, a fun thing to, um, to throw in. Love to know what you think about this. The next book is called How to Find Love in a Bookshop by Veronica Henry. This is a, a light, breezy, delightful um, read that pulled at my heartstrings, really. I don't know if, if any of you are familiar with BookBub, and I can give you more information if you can't find it online. I signed up for this um, free service about a year ago, and it's been great for me. It's for people who read on a Kindle or an iPad, and I do because I have an eye issue. Um, but you fill out a survey, and it sends you every day an email with five or six books that are on sale. And I mean, they're on sale for $1.99, which is great. New releases, older books, just all kinds. And I've had a lot of luck um, getting books through, through this service. But anyway, this was one of the books, How to Find Love in a Bookshop, that BookBub recommended, me to one, recommended to me one day. It was published in 2016. I'm not sure I would have found it otherwise. And as I mentioned, it was just a delightful book in the English countryside. Amelia returns home to um, take over a bookshop. Her father has passed away, it was a family bookshop, and um, just goes through all her relationships. And um, for book lovers or bookshop lovers, it, it, it's a nice story. The Second Mrs. Astor by Shana Abe. I was lucky enough to get an advanced copy of this from the publisher, and I really enjoyed it. A people story. As you can tell from my blog, that's what I love. Colonel John Astor, some of you may know that name, fell in love back in the early 1900s with a socialite 30 years younger than him, Madeline Force. And their romance, engagement, and marriage was very scandalized and the press just chastised them, didn't think it was appropriate at all. They took an extended honeymoon overseas and where the press left them alone, finally returned home 
aboard a brand new ocean liner on, their maiden, on its maiden voyage, the Titanic. What could go wrong? So this was a, um, and I'm not spoiling anything because the book opens with um, Madeline telling the story of how her husband had perished and she writes the story uh, to her newborn son. And, and it, part of it is diary and part of it is Madeline's point of view. I really enjoyed learning about that. Next is a thriller. And even with the thriller, there was a lot to learn. Hostage by Claire McIntosh. I made the mistake of reading it while I was on a plane. I couldn't put it down. Nice short chapters, which I love, keep things moving along. Um, it was about World Airways, not a true story, World Airways inaugural 20 hour flight from London to Sydney. And Mina, the flight attendant, is faced with quite a decision. Um, the passengers are all taken hostage for an interesting reason, and I just thought it was a, um, a great thought-provoking read. And then the last one I have for you all today is Jackie and Maria by Jill Paul. Delicious romp through the world of wealth and privilege and extravagance. It um, tells how the story, fictionalized, fictionalized um, story of how Jackie Kennedy Onassis, um, wife to a US president, how her life intersected with Maria Callas, who is probably the world's greatest soprano. I did not know very much at all about Maria, so I really enjoyed reading about her. I loved the, um, the settings, Italy, France, Greece, New York. I loved the clothing. I loved reading about all the extravagance, although sometimes, you know, it made me wonder how much women would put up with. Um, if you read it, I would encourage you to make sure you read the back matter of the book and the acknowledgements to find out what was true and what wasn't. I just thought it was fascinating. So there are my recommendations. I hope that you will comment on what you're reading or if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them. Um, I thank you so much for um, being a part of this community and talking books with me. Thanks very much.